It was in this moment she knew she f***ed up. Hello everyone! Welcome back to my channel. This is Re, and um, today I will be doing a review of this popular thing on YouTube called waveformers yes waveformers so let me give you a little backstory into this thing because i kind of vex i kind of vex and i'm gonna tell you why let me tell you why i vex right because i ordered waveformers these waveformers off of ebay and they had them on wish as well but everyone was saying now you know ebay has the long ones and whatnot and i actually watched a video from a youtuber uh, who linked them in the description and she had the long ones so I say well you know let me, let me buy it off eBay lo and behold now when the thing reach this this is the length of the waveformers you see what I have X you see what I have X like what is, what is this what is this 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 that's why I so I'm starting the review on a biased note. I'm upset. Anyway, maybe I think my hair is longer than it is, but I think that my hair will not be able to fit in this. But we go see. I don't know what I'm doing. So we will learn together. So yeah. By the way, I just finished my last video where I did a review of the Miel Organics Babasu Oil and Mint, I think that's it, deep conditioner. If you want to see how that went, please check out my last video. I'll link it somewhere. Okay, there we go. <laughs> okay, so I'm using the As I Am Long and Lux Leave-In Conditioner. I really, really love this conditioner. It has great slip and I always make sure to wet my hair thoroughly so that I don't have to use much product. I also went ahead and separated my hair into four sections and I'm starting at the back. Then I'm going in with the As I Am Double Butter Cream. I really like this cream but it doesn't have much hold. So if I had to do this style again, I really wouldn't use this cream to be honest. Then you want to twist your hair at the root. Um, but I'm not gonna go into detail now because I made a lot of mistakes <laughs> so I'll explain the proper technique a little later on in the video okay so that was the first one it wasn't too bad I don't think so it wasn't so bad Alright, so you want to twist the hair at the root and get all of your hair inside the clip thingy. And this is where I made my first mistake. So if you look, I wasn't squeezing the top of the waveformers while I tried to pull it through. And this really put extra strain on my hair for no reason. So please make sure to squeeze the top of the waveformer by the thick plastic. And that just makes it so much easier. Um, I know it's really obvious, but uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I had a slow moment. For this one as well, you see me making the same mistake and not squeezing the top of the waveformer. I know it sounds simple, but it's really easy to forget to do. So just remember to do that. Okay, so I zoomed in a little bit so you can see a little better. Um, here is when I got the idea to use a brush. I thought that, you know, brushing out my hair would make my hair lie flatter in the waveformer and stretch out my hair a little bit. And I really think this helped with the style.
oh and don't pull on your hair like this either guys if it's not coming through just let it go don't pull on your hair like this it's really gonna put extra strain for no reason So this is the one that I think that I did pretty well. I soak my hair with water, I apply my leave-in and my butter and I brush all my curls a little bit. I twist my roots about an inch down and you can really see me squeezing the top of the waveformer to open it up and the hair just slides through so that's when you know you're doing the right thing okay so i went ahead and did the next section off camera and here i'm just putting my head in a side part because i hate center parts my head is too big for center parts i can't pull it off so i just don't do it okay so at the front of my head i'm just going to use some gel i always put my gel while i'm styling instead of after this gel i'm using is the eco styler black castor oil and flaxseed um, I really like this gel. It doesn't have much hold, but it it doesn't leave my hair crunchy and it's just really nice. Now at the front of my head, I did these sections a little bigger because I was really worried about my hair turning out flat. I really didn't want flat results. So I thought, you know, bigger sections would help with those. But if you're doing bigger sections, make sure to use a strong hold styling product. Also, if we're being real, I was getting lazy and tired, so I did the sections bigger as well. Okay, so I included a section so you could see how much times I failed at this one before I realized that the section was too big and yeah it's a lot so if you want to guess before you can let me know in the comments before i show you how many times i feel And I even tried a new stick like uh, guys I light switch was off light switch was off my brain was just turned off at this point it took well 14 tries before I finally realized that the section was too big and I needed to make it smaller. So you don't want to do your sections too big. I wasted about 20 minutes on this one waveformer. That is so sad. Ugh, and I'm done. Uh, this took me about three hours to do, but I take long to do everything. So you could probably do this in about one hour. I used a total of 30 waveformers on my head and yeah. So it's been about 20 hours and dread sleeping with these was the worst the worst i got the worst sleep ever so as you can see i'm really 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 loving these results my hair was so fluffy, so shiny, so bouncy, so soft. I really was expecting this to fail, I have to be honest, but um, I got some really, really nice thick waves. And as I said, I used about 30 waveformers on my head. But if your hair density is like mine, I would recommend that you use about 8 to 9 waveformers per section. Um, just because some sections I did a little too big, and now I'm just unraveling the little twist I did at the end of each waveformer. And you know what? After all the fuss I made about the length of the waveformers at the start of this video, 
I actually think that this was the perfect length for my hair because I got to twist the ends uh, instead of getting all my hair in the way formal which would have given me a kind of straight end look and I don't think that would have looked as nice as the little curls I got at the end. So yeah guys, I really really like how these came out. It was really nice for me to see my length and see how my hair has grown uh, without having to use heat. Let me know if you like how this style turned out in the comments. If you tried it, let me know how your experience was. If you liked this video, please like and subscribe. It helps me a lot. Thank you for watching guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.